cloth in Cyflex has an interesting feature using weight maps. If you look into your object selection clusters folder, you'll notice that you've got uh, a cloth cluster. And in that cloth cluster, I can say that twice or three times, uh, is a mass map and a stiffness map. And if you're actually to select them right now, they're all just solid uh, blue, so they have a full 100% intensity. Uh, if we have a look at the other map, the stiffness map, uh, oops, I should have actually selected that. I'll press W and just have a look at the map. Again, this too is 100%. Uh, What's happening, these maps are actually being multiplied, or they're multiplying uh, many of the effects set in the cloth property page. Things like stretch stiffness, shear stiffness, bend stiffness, etc. They're all modulated by this weight map. So if I wanted to reduce springiness in certain areas, I could actually start to reduce uh, some weight. So maybe what I'll do is around the crotch area, I'll reduce some of the, the springiness. So I have to go in and actually get the map. I need to call it up so that uh, XSI knows I'm working with it. So under the cloth menu, I'm going to go in and pull the uh, spring map, make it live. So get the spring map. So the, the spring map is now uh, my current map I'm painting on. And if I press W, I'm going to hit Control W and just take the values of my paintbrush down a little bit. So I can kind of layer it up. And around this midsection here, we're going to give them kind of a bit of a more solid uh, torso. So just there's a bit more reinforcement around this area here. Okay, and I'm going to blend that in. And I'm just going to taper it off a little bit. Uh, I do want stretching through the back. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll take a little bit of weight off the back, though. Um, maybe something like this. I'll just do a quick, broad stroke and blur it all in. Okay, so it's a bit looser through here. A bit looser there. Maybe in the chest area as well, too. kind of fade it off and fade it off in the arms as well. So I'm just kind of randomly blending this stuff in, just to trying to simulate the little random snags and bumps as fabric kind of gets just caught on little things, hairs on the body, that kind of stuff. I'll leave the collar very stiff. Uh, actually, come to think of it, I'll kind of increase the stiffness in the waist area. I want to kind of retain the form there, not as much jiggle. And I'll stretch out kind of underneath so you can get some springiness. Just smooth that all together. Around the quads and maybe a little bit of extra spring in the calves. Same thing maybe there. Okay, and just being a little sloppy now. And I need to set that back on the object. And before I actually see the effects take place, I'm going to need to recache it again. We can also do the same thing with the mass map. So let me just set the spring map back on the character. So I'll select the character, and I'll set the spring map back on. So the currently loaded map is now being used as my spring map. And then I can do the same thing for the mass map. I can go and get a map representing the mass of the character, uh, of the cloth on the character, and I could again start to, to tune that as well. So higher values will mean higher mass. So I might want to decrease the mass a little bit kind of around the sleeves, kind of have it a little bit looser, and maybe a less mass maybe around the lower lower legs. Kind of blend all that together. Again, I'm just using this really soft brush here. 
just kind of blending up the up the legs. Okay, uh, that'll work for me. I need to set that back on the mass map, so I'll set the mass map. There we go. So now let's uh, go back in, and I'm going to re-simulate, and we'll compare the results. So let's see here. I've got my mixer still driving the clip. If I jump into my cloth menu, make sure I'm back on frame one, and I'll call this second test. Stand and cheer. That looks good. I don't need to change any of the other values here. Perhaps I could actually push the external envelope a little further. Let's say a uh, value of 0 0.09 and maybe try and decrease the size of the internal envelope a little bit. Um, maybe that'll help the shoulder area. We won't work with the stickiness yet. Damping uh, looks pretty good. Could try a different value. I'll just decrease it slightly and uh, let's give this test a whirl. We'll have uh, three good comparisons when we're done. So again I'll just pop out uh, of Camtasia and start back on this when uh, the caching is done.